Hi everybody, this is Care Bear 4 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an origami piano. Looks like this. It's very easy to make. All you'll need is a piece of origami paper that's square and a pen. This size origami paper is the same as a post-it. You can use something a little bit bigger if you want your origami piano to be bigger. I just like cute little things, so um, here it is. So I have two sides. I have a colored side and a non-colored side. If you have two-toned origami paper as well, you'll want to use the colored side on the bottom. Okay, we'll start with the colored side on the bottom. The first thing you're going to do is fold the paper in half not diagonally, okay, the other way. Okay, then you're going to fold it, turn it, and fold it again so that it makes a square. Okay. okay. The next thing you'll do is you'll open it back up halfway, okay? and you'll take this side and fold it in half up to the crease. Okay, so you're lining up the edge of the paper with the crease that you made between the two squares. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So take this bottom piece, fold it up to the center, and crease it. You wanna be as uh, accurate as possible with making these folds so that the piano keyboard lines up properly, okay? The next thing you'll do is open it halfway again so that you have the flap facing you, okay? And you'll put one finger down where the this outside flap is, where this crease is here. And the other finger you're gonna take and slip it into the fold, okay? And you're gonna tilt the Tilt the flap up, so you keep this finger down, so tilt the flap up, and then slide your finger up into the corner. Okay, then you'll press down with your other finger and you'll create a triangle, yay. Okay, you'll do the same thing on the other side. So you'll stick your finger right here to hold the flap down so that you don't overfold. Put your other finger inside the little crease Push your finger all the way up to the corner and then slide your finger back out and fold your triangles down. Okay? So now you have something that looks like this. Okay? The next part is my favorite part. You're going to take your pen and we're going to draw piano keys. Okay? So the first thing we'll do is draw straight lines all the way down on this white flap here. So this big flap. Okay, we're gonna start right where the white starts and we're just gonna draw lines straight down all the way down. Okay. Try to keep them straight. Don't be like me. Okay. okay. The next thing that we want to do is draw the black keys on the piano. Pianos have white keys and black keys, and their black keys show up in sets of twos and threes, alternating two, three, two, three. So we'll start with two, and you're going to start on this black line right here, and you're going to make it just a little bit darker and a little bit fatter. Okay, and then you'll go to the next line, and the same thing, you're going to make it a little bit darker and a little bit fatter, okay? Then you'll skip a line, because we're gonna do a set of two and then a set of three, so we need to have a space, so we'll skip that line, and now we'll do three, and try to make them the same length. Okay, skip a line. Okay, we're almost done. The next part we're gonna do 
is slide your fingers under the piano keyboard, okay? And then flip the flap, <laughs> that's so fun to say, flip the flap up and crease it there too, okay? All right, so now you have this, this flap here. You're going to fold it down, not quite to the halfway point. Okay, so here's halfway. We want to think of it in thirds. So here's a third and here's a third. Okay, so you split this into three, three equal parts here. And we're going to fold this top piece down a third of the way. So that once it's folded, there's an even amount of, of piano key line here and then the underside here, okay? So you're just folding it down that way. Okay, the next part's also really fun. It's, this whole thing is just fun. Okay, then you're gonna fold the flap up on the side, increase it, okay? Flip it around, fold this part up, and crease it. And here's the next fun part, because it's all fun. We're gonna open, not all the way, you know, open it so that it can stand up. And then you're going to slightly open the keys, like that. And so it can stand on its own. Let's see if I can put it up here so you can see it. There it is. You can also make like a little um, bench or whatever. I made myself some sheet music. It's so cute, look it, it's just so cute. And then you can actually stick it into the little pocket if you want to, if you just want to be silly, okay? So there you have it. That's how you make the origami piano keyboard. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next time.